sits in institution. Unable to get a grip as he mentally slips on the blood spilt from the broken skin of his own reality-based board game plagued with missing pieces. His dopamine levels too low to cope with this, his third cerebral stroke as the whole left side of his ability to laugh at life is now frozen stiff. Fingers follow fresh stitches on left wrist as if they were keloid into something that makes sense. How did it come to this? Why was he allowed to live? How did he foul up his last attempt to give one last gift to the planet who only gave him its ass to kiss in the form of unemployment taxes and the past affliction of crack addiction? But don't trip, because we all came into this world gasping for oxygen, refusing to make a sound till after that first hit comes so everyone is guilty. We all have a tendency to look with contempt upon the lives of those whose eyes have shown no signs of hope and crying has become an optical delusioning exercise like administering scriptures through verbal syringes has become my own holy addiction. A blessed curse that only gets worse when the quest for net worth means that stress lurks and flirts with death making my chest hurt, rendering the whole left side of my ability to laugh at life effectually inert. The waitress at the restaurant spilled coffee on my best shirt so no wonder the anomaly of Waffle House office philosophy stains my best work and replace corporate desk work. In essence, I've deemed too much rest in bed fruitless. I can't even sleep for four hours straight without it making my back and neck hurt. Sparks shoot off concrete pages. My pen is flint, igniting this internal inferno because I've burnt corporate bridges that could never be rebuilt. So I'm out there now, but I'm not alone because I network with the best of asphalt angels whose only angle is is pulling up a cement winged wordsmiths out the same asylums they find themselves in. Uh, who knew concrete could be so pliable when it goes past slams in the psychosomatics of CD sales and a troop of concrete troubadours sings a lyrical lullaby to restless souls when a sister approaches you at an open mic soon as you step indoors to say your lyrics help the brother find the missing pieces to his reality based board game and came out of said institution cause he could hear that we're still in hours. We've traded emotional Kevlar vests for late night breakfasts cause we ain't been to sleep yet due to the others our poetry has to get to, the others who haven't reached their potential yet to, those following a quest just shy of a guest but who refuse to be swayed by blood and flesh. You may only know a few like this when actually it scores a minion shouting this battle cry getting louder all the time but doesn't reverberate off walls but off lives. Keep it concrete. This ain't a new age revolution. This is blank page revelation. Throw your pins up. Click. Welcome to the concrete generation. Mm.